title, National Endowment for the Arts, Creative Forces. From drills to dance. Exit 12 Dance Company was awarded an NEA Creative Forces Community Engagement Grant. With it, they were able to create a workshop series for veterans and refugees to work through the hidden wounds of war. The result was a powerful performance of truths colliding at the Intrepid Museum in NYC. A male dancer holds a female dancer off the ground as he twirls. They both wear tight undergarments the same color as their white skin. Dance has a way of transforming the way we embody military training. Dancers perform modern dance wearing military fatigues. A male dancer pushes a female dancer to the ground. Caption, Roman Baca, Exit 12 Dance Company co-founder and artistic director, USMC veteran. Roman is Hispanic and has short black hair. He's in his late 40s. Military members are much like dancers. They learned choreographed movement, they rehearse choreographed movement, and then they might have a couple of minutes or a couple of hours to actually perform their choreographed movement in the theater of war. Dance offers the opportunity to move people away from that harsh military training into a space where they can reconnect with love, with joy, with imagination, and with others again. Caption, Everett Cox, U.S. Army veteran, artist. Everett, a white man with white hair in his 70s, sits outside on a picnic table gazing across a green valley. I volunteered for Vietnam in 1969. 79 days and I had a breakdown. He writes in a notebook. When I came back, I traveled for months, hitchhiked all over the country. I was a mess and I didn't know how messy. Caption, Jenny Pekanowski, U.S. Army veteran, artist. Jenny is a white woman in her 40s. I was a medic on the front lines, running medical support for convoys, which is like 911 on the road. My transition to the civilian world was very challenging. A black woman in her 40s who wears a hair wrap walks through a park with a younger man. I had grown up in some chaos. I was really searching at a young age for stability. Around 19, I joined the Navy to become a cryptologist. Caption, Damasa Doyle, U.S. Navy veteran, artist. I was stationed in Japan, where I spent three years. A white man with brown hair in his 50s writes in a notebook in a park. I'm a retired Army officer after a 30-year career. It's been a very hard adjustment to be fully in the civilian world now. Caption, Anthony Roberts, U.S. Army veteran, artist. Some ways you feel adrift. In a dance studio, Anthony Roberts holds out his hand along with other veterans in choreographed movement, Roman Baca. Exit 12 Dance Company started working with military veterans and bringing them into the studio about 2011. And what we have developed is a workshop that brings them into a room. Jenny carries pages as she leads a group in a dance workshop. Introduces them to the concept of creativity and imagination. Gets them moving in a very easy way. In the sunlit rehearsal space, a white man with a tattoo on his ear clenches his fists as a white woman with long blonde hair hugs her arms to her chest. And then scaffolds that experience so that as they move through, they're doing harder and harder tasks. The veterans stand apart from each other, moving separately. And they're sharing more important parts of themselves. Six people place their hands on each other's shoulders and move forward and back as a group. Another group walks in a curved line holding the shoulder of the person in front of them, Anthony Roberts. What's interesting about the military and its movement, and I noticed this during my first rehearsal, is that the only choreography with which I was familiar involves holding a weapon. In another studio, a man punches Roman's open palms repeatedly. Then Roman salutes his reflection in a wall of mirrors as he spins. Translating that into non-confrontational movement has been both liberating and also frightening. Jenny. I'm really used to being in my head, so moving into my body can be a really nice relief. I have my own kind of inner dialogue while in the workshop moving around, like, how can I let this go? How can I breathe this way? Damasa. It was really this exploration of how do I save my life? 
and realizing that the trauma was activating me and that I was feeling like I was in an ocean and I was drowning. Damasa dances in a park. Caption, Adrienne De La Fuente, Exit 12 Dance Company Executive Director and Dancer. Adrienne is a white woman in her 30s. One of the things I've definitely learned about trauma is the way that it narrows down the mind. Dance allows us to go big and to have an expression of really serious emotion that allows people to approximate something that was really difficult without having to go fully through it and to create a safer version of that moment. Roman addresses the veterans who stand in a large circle around him. The next time you do your movement, think about the word that you have in your pocket. And I want to see if you can transform the movement you've just done to reflect the word in your pocket. A veteran's t-shirt reads, Stories of War. If I was doing something frantic. Roman waves his arms. And the word in my pocket was peaceful. I might just let this float a little bit, change the quality. He floats his arms as he drifts in a circle. Change the timing maybe change the level, the way you want it to feel, the way you want it to look, to reflect the emotion you have in your pocket. Outside, Anthony reads from his notebook to Jenny and she laughs, Anthony. How do I feel still very uncertain, very tense, until I'm actually doing it and kind of get out of my head a little bit and just focus on the movement instead of worrying about what it looks like and just purging myself of whatever I'm feeling through movement. In the studio, Anthony stands beside Roman and they hold out their fists. Jenny. In those moments when I'm feeling true, full, authentic joy, I don't feel pain. Damasa sits in the park with a younger man and closes her eyes and nods her head. Chaos is feeling like at any moment I am pushed into a space and time that was not my choosing. In studio, she punches her fist out in front of her, then waves her arms over her head. I realized that I had to find a way through, and I had to find my joy to release myself from chaos and be in my purpose. Jenny and Anthony stroll on a dock past Navy vessels to the Intrepid Museum. In a carpeted room, veterans sit at folding tables talking and laughing. By staying connected with creative forces, we started to build a community. Adrienne. We're bringing in those affected by conflict and giving them a space to move through that. When we thought about truths colliding and bringing veterans together to create a work, we thought about bringing other people impacted by war into the space, like refugees from the war in Ukraine. Female twins in their 30s with long strawberry blonde hair sit in the studio. To create understanding, to create dialogue that could help the conversations about Iraq, Afghanistan, and Ukraine not disappear. Roman stands in a circle with the veterans and they all hold hands and bow their heads. We know that the minute we step out the room onto the stage, the fun happens. And there's no right out there and there is no wrong. It is just live. And give your hearts to the audience because I've seen them and they are beautiful. Have a wonderful, wonderful show. An audience arrives and sits on folding chairs in a warehouse space. They read the programs. The veterans perform in front of a gray curtain. They move separately, then come together as a group and hold their hands above their heads. Damasa. Without community, we are lost. Without movement and expression, we're in trouble. And it keeps us in our joy. It also helps us transmute grief. Several veterans thrust out their chests, then rush forward. They hold their hands above their heads in unison, then shake their hands towards the audience. Anthony. The more intense the experiences that you're working through, the more necessary the need to express them becomes. Sometimes it's a poem, it's a novel, it's a piece of music, it's a dance. Everett. One of the most valuable things I lost in Vietnam was a sense of camaraderie. The military is built around camaraderie. Everett holds Damasa's arm during the performance. 
We have to support each other. We have to keep each other safe. And I felt that shattered in Vietnam. Working with Exit 12 is to recreate camaraderie. It's powerful to link arms and dance together. The dancers join hands and touch shoulders as they flock in a circle. Roman. Matrice colliding. We're getting a bunch of service members who served to stand up and say, we were impacted by war. We were impacted by service and we have trauma. And hopefully they can be an example to those who struggle and maybe a motivation to talk about it, to reach out for support or to get help. Roman Baca stands with the veterans and applauds. Then he steps forward and with his hands on his heart, he smiles as he bows. He gestures to the veterans. The audience gets to their feet as the veterans in the dance company link hands and bow. <laughs> Title, National Endowment for the Arts, Creative Forces. Creative Forces, NEA Military Healing Arts Network is an initiative of the National Endowment for the Arts in partnership with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Veterans Affairs that seeks to improve the health, well-being, and quality of life for military and veteran populations exposed to trauma as well as their families and caregivers.